We're going to talk about um, a very powerful tool that we can use to give ourselves some signals, uh, give us some, uh, ourselves some idea of what's happening in the market by um, a computer system that gives us decisions and algorithms based upon what's happened in the markets, what's happened in the past. So it's a very powerful tool. And again, now, this is provided free of charge by InterTrader. So it's obviously worth value to clients because InterTrader wouldn't pay for something, you know, that didn't give their clients, you know, the best ability to uh, to make trade calls. So I'll go through all the charts tonight. Any questions you've got, just ask me at the end. Now, before I start, as always, the risk warning. Remember, that spread betting and CFD training, carry high level risk or capital, resulting losses that exceed your initial deposit. Bob is super everyone, so please ensure you fully understand the risk involved. Now, the information coins provided here in no circumstances or an offer a station to invest. Nothing is going to pursue investment advice. The information provided is really too accurate the data is produced. Again, it's education only. Content of the webinar is personal opinion of the moderator, not intro.com. The content is not country financial investment or tax advice. Intro.com is not accepted. Any liability of the content comes from during the session. So, when we talk about auto charters, we're talking about all the things that are available to you. You know, InterTrader Direct give you, um, you know, through your live account, access to this very powerful charting package for a reason. It gives you all the kind of information you need from um, individual trade calls, the trade uh, patterns, the charting uh, pattern setups, and all the information statistics that, that provides. So what is it? Well, it's a technical analysis-based system, and it really kind of revolves around these few simple principles that markets can only move so much in a specific time period. So what we're looking for is markets to exhibit trends, they exhibit patterns. So what we learn from the market, what it did in the past, we can use that to predict the future. So basically, computer, the auto part of it, is all about an auto <coughs> chart system can assimilate data multiple times through multiple instruments much quicker than the human brain. So what we're trying to figure out is what a, what a computer can save us, and that is basically time. It can look at many instruments, many time frames, many products, and then split down the information in an easy to understand and grasp way. I guess there's really six main areas we should focus on. The first one is chart patterns. So formations such as triangles, wedges, head and shoulders, and channels, these happen all the time in the markets. You know, on the 15 minute chart, the hourly chart, what we've got to recognize is when they happen and why we should trade them. Other things are very important. Things like Fibonacci. Fibonacci retracements, expansions, uh, ABC, uh, D, Gartley, Butterfly. These are things I use in my trading every single day. Key levels, support and resistance, one of the backbones of all technical analysis. Then volatility analysis, it gives us an overall, overall kind of assessment of the risk and volatility of markets. And I guess the volatility and assessing that volatility is very important right now because the market is more volatile than ever with Brexit, the uncertainty, etc., etc. Then the, the favourites, also chartist obviously has a, a huge uh, you know, soiree of data. So certain things that you know statistically stack up for them, and they again can be presented to you. Then former statistics, they can tell you things that have won, things that have lost. So each one of these points, again, is not on its own particularly unique, uh, or I guess essential, or particularly helpful when we're talking about trading. One of the things I've, I've learned over the many years I've taught traders and over 15 years I've been trading the markets is that there's no single one single way of making money, no one single way of interpreting information. It's all about figuring out you know, the, the, grand, the grander scheme of things, You know what works for you, what works for you at the right time. Trading is not about being right, it's about being right at the right point in time. Uh, we get we call it an opinion of what's going to happen in the future, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money. So what we're looking for from the auto chart is system is to find out things that match up our personality, match up our style of trading, you know, match up what we're trying to achieve. So when we open up the auto chart screen, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, we have an idea of a chart. You know, it's showing us we've got here a, a triangle or a wedge style pattern, and it tells all the information we need to know. Whether it's you know the forex, you know, it's um, a thirty-minute chart. Etc. 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 So we stick, you know, straight away. What we get to find out is you know, what the market can do uh, in the time period we're looking at, and again, you know, what is important to us. You know, what's going to be important to our trading style. You know, is the, this product in our longer term view going to go up, going to go down? Is this a short term view? You know, mid term view. And again, it's all these things are very important. So what we're looking for is again, you know, grouping patterns and grouping symbols. You know, it's not about 
just singling in a one product when you talk about auto charters. The whole point of using something like auto charters is they can take information from multiple asset classes, you know, multiple products. So you're not just looking at one single product in one view, you're looking at every product in every view. So if you're a big fan of triangle patterns, or you're a big fan of you know meme reversions, you can search for these things and it'll give you every product that's experiencing that specific style of trading pattern. And again, that's what's very powerful about auto charters. I've written plenty of software packages in the past, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it gives me all the information I need. And auto charters is great because it gives you all the information you might need, but not necessarily all the information that is right for you at the right time. So that's why you have to search for what you're looking for. Auto charters works best when you've got a certain scenario that you're trying to fulfill. So what we're looking for is active uh, trading opportunities. So again, I mean, expired is it just that. You can look at the expired opportunities. They've either worked or they haven't worked. What we're looking for is the active ones. You know, what can happen in the Aussie dollar, New Zealand Swiss, you know, the Canadian Swiss. You know, what's going to happen coming up that we can actually use for our trading? So when we look at it, we're looking for the, 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 the charting patterns, you know, Fibonacci levels, key levels. It gets all displayed down here. So in this particular example, you know, we look at the Aussie, New Zealand dollar, 15 minute chart, an up channel. And we're looking for the quality, you know, the, the, the length of time, the candles, etc. All these things give us an idea if that's a trade we want to take. So chart patterns are very simple. Now, they're very simple in the fact that there are actually only about a dozen chart patterns that really any real trader ever uses. So what we're trying to use from auto charters is to pick out the ones that happen time and time again, figure out, you know, again, what time intervals are going to happen on, what products are most common on, and then get involved, you know, buying into the trend or selling for that kind of, that meme reversion style trade that we've mentioned. Now, any kind of chart pattern, um, it, again, until it's actually happened, it's never set in stone. So we're trading you're always kind of not second guessing, but the whole art of trading is trying to predict what's, what's going to happen in the future based upon the past, but being right at the right time. So what you don't want to do is buy this upward trending channel here when it can actually bounce off the lower level. So again, it's, it's, it's alerting you to, that yes, the market may still continue to go up, but you have to buy it low. There's no point buying now, taking too much, uh, too, too much risk on. Then we've got things like Fibonacci patterns. Now, Fibonacci I've used for years and years and years. So again, it's simple. What has happened in the past will happen in the future. So this particular chart, the market's gone from the low to the high. You'd expect it to bounce off a good key technical level. And here we've got the 100% level. Then the market goes on to make a new high. So again, you're buying into the trend. The trend is up, which we know because the market's going up. Expect it to retrace to a certain point which again ties in with the Fibonacci levels and then to move up. So again, you know, very uh, self-explanatory. Then we've got key levels. So key levels are where the market has to get to in a support and resistance stance. So the market has clearly found a lot of support and resistance here. So what we're saying is from this point here, from the, uh, the down arrow, we don't actually know what's going to happen in the future. But based upon the past, we know if the market does continue down, it's going to get to 8 spot 2390. So again, you've got the option to sell into that weakness. Then we've got the volatility analysis. Now, these are the things that really kind of make electronic systems come into their own. So this particular um, indication shows that the volatility, you know, is, is, is growing. So it means that you might have to, you know, adjust your stop. You might have to kind of, you know, put more tolerable stop levels into your trades as the market volatility increases. Now, you can see that from the, the candlesticks in any chart, but it doesn't necessarily tell you to what percentage. So if you're trading a very technical strategy where you've got, you know, X amount of risk per point per pound you're trading. Again, this again is, you know, another volatility indicator that can give you the idea of as the time frames go up, how much, you know, more risk you're going to have to take on board. Then you've got our favorites. Now, this again is you know, things like, uh, you know, support and resistance, trend channels, you know, the market trade winners that's what we're looking for so also charts can kind of thousands of products thousands of potential outcomes it just picks the ones that work more most often so if you click on our favorites it will show you things that just work more often than they're not so again a very powerful tool when you're talking about you know big numbers then the performance stats and the performance stats is where also charts comes into its own but also where it trips itself up for me 
you know, again, we're looking at this. You know, the number of um, trades that could be executed, 2,189, and the ones that actually kind of, you know, were, were taken, uh, 1,130. So it actually shows that it's no real different than 50-50. So what you're trying to do from auto charters is that we can all pick out 50-50 trades. What we're trying to figure out is, you know, when do we get them 60, 70, 80, 90% trades? And that's really where I think auto chartist comes into its own, where we can actually use the statistics to drill down on products, drill down on patterns, drill, drill down on time frames, and figure out what is going to happen, happen more often than not. There's no guaranteed ways of success, we know that, but we can certainly put the odds in our favour. So as I say, you know, the uh, amount of uh, statistics evaluated you know an actual percentage 52 percent so you can still make money trading 50 50 if you lose every other trade if you've got the right kind of risk award uh, strategy but this is the whole point you know auto chart is meant to give you that edge 60 70 80 percent you have to drill down and figure out what's going to work for you what's more important there's no point just looking at the basics of um uh you know auto charts and pick out the 50 50 trades because you can do that yourself you know you can make your own money make your own calls 50 50 what we're trying to get is that extra edge so perform statistics again what we're looking for if you look through these stats all the reds obviously you know things that ha don't have more than 50 percent edge but then we've got things like this you know double top yeah 100 percent edge all these different products here 100 percent edge not saying they're always going to work because that's impossible. You might do the trade after the 100%, but look for things in your favor. Again, by drilling down the statistics and put a bit of time into the auto charts platform, you can figure out what's going to work for you and what has the edge. Anything that's 40, 30, 20, 10%, why touch it? Or even if you do touch it, go the opposite way. So all information is good, but you have to use it in a way that benefits your trading style. So a working example here, looking at the Euro CAD, looking at support. So what we're looking for is this is a good line of support. Well, we're way above that support. So what we're figuring out is that, yes, the market's buying up. We're in a, a bullish trend. But what might happen is the market comes down to support before it goes back up. So you're selling in to better levels. So we're not, you know, the, the signal's telling us to buy, but we don't buy until we get to lower, better levels. Again, being right at the right time. Again, you know, other examples with the markets, you know, again, a clear downtrend, the market's consolidated, but it's being right. I mean, the market can potentially break down here or it can break down, you know, to the upside here. But, you know, again, it's going with the odds on this particular chart. The market's making consistent, you know, lower lows. So what you're figuring out is where do you sell it high to sell into that, you know, that, that, that pressure. And again, you know, if you look at working setups, you know, you're trying to figure out, you know, what you do. Look at your trading screen. So these are two separate screens. We're looking at our auto charters here. Market tellers want to sell. Then obviously you're going to have to interpret that on your trading screen into Trader and figure out the levels that apply to you too. Using Fibonacci and auto charters, you're going to have to put that on your own trading screens to make sense of it. And then again, working setup. So again, you know, what we're trying to figure out is what the auto chart is saying, but how that interprets into what we see on our own screens. So again, it's taking that technical analysis and applying it to our own screens and also not applying it, but also understanding it. So I guess auto is the key word in making this, you know, use auto chart to its best ability. It's taking charts from multiple products, multiple time frames, multiple products, and then giving it to us in a way that we can pick and choose what we want. It can scan more information than we possibly can. That's the whole point. Auto, you know, again, it is a computer. A computer can scan much more information, but it doesn't mean a, a computer is smarter. A computer gives us more information, but can't make any calls for us. We're still the trader. So the strengths are speed. So the speed of assimilating lots of information, multiple tools, time frames, is absolutely where it's key. The, uh, the downside is that it doesn't give you any strategic information. It's not like talking to a trader like me. I'll tell you why I'm doing things. I'll just tell you what, what could work. All right, guys, well, that's AutoTrader. I mean, if you've got a live Intrader account, you can use AutoTrader to your heart's content. There's plenty of online support. Again, I'm just highlighting other strengths and weaknesses. Any, any questions, any thoughts about that? Again, it's, there's only one person in the room tonight, so, again, ask me anything you want. It is, um, as I say, it is it's a, a pretty self-explanatory tool, but if there's anything you want to ask me about it specifically, you know, please do ask me now. 
Well, again, we're going to do some more kind of more thoughtful webinars. You know, we've got a live GDP sessions where I trade my large account rather than just going through the tools you could use. I'll show you how the markets work in real time. Any questions you've got, ask me on Twitter at Steve Roughly or get me on my email srufley at tradermaker.com. But you've got auto charters, you can use it if you've got a live account. If not, just contact me on the details I'll give you and I'll set you with auto charts myself. All right, guys, well, been a pleasure. Anything else, just you know where to get me. All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you.